year is 2021, and the world has been overtaken by a pandemic. It's been a while since you've completed your A-levels and have been waiting for university to begin. And finally, the day has arrived to start a new chapter of your life. But it's not the same as you expected. Now we might be curious to know what kind of a journey awaits you. So let's find out. Come on, let us take you on a tour to a world that is full of dreams, innovations and ideas. Welcome to the University of Marutua, Sri Lanka. The vision of our university is to be the most globally recognized knowledge enterprise in South Asia. And the mission is to be the leading knowledge enterprise for technological and related disciplines in South Asia by providing transformative education which nurtures the inquiring mind and develops knowledge and skills for facing global challenges, carrying out nationally relevant and high impact research to expand the boundaries of knowledge and to enhance the national technological capabilities, providing expert services to the state, industry and the society as an internationally positioned Sri Lankan university and contributing to the sustainable, scientific, technological, social and economic development of Sri Lanka. The University of Murtua traces its origins back to 1893 to the Ceylon Technical School established in Maradana. It first earned university status on the 15th of February 1972 and the Department of Architecture then at Colombo was transferred to Katubadda at the formation of this new campus. Further under the University's Act of the Government in 1978 the Katubadda campus of Sri Lanka acquired the status of independent university with its present corporate name, the University of Moratua. The university has six faculties, which includes architecture, engineering, IT, management, graduate studies and the latest addition, medicine. The architecture faculty consists of departments of architecture, building and economics, town and country planning and integrated design and the faculty provides both undergraduate and postgraduate studies along with research areas. The loving Mother Mora has produced the best disciplines which serves as the education responsive to national needs. It is known as the country's leading technological higher education institute, excelling both locally and globally. The University of Marutu ranks third nationally and 2189 globally, according to Webometrics New Edition for 2020. The university has many international links, promoting and facilitating several types of collaborations. The academic staff of the university is well qualified with the highest academic milestones and is best known for their good relationship and communication with students to ensure that the university achieves a high level of an intellectual, physical and social environment. Apart from excellent guidance through the academic curriculum, we also receive a heap of other benefits as students of this university. The library is extensive with books from every genre. There are spacious auditoriums, a vast gymnasium, canteens, banking facilities and a playground. The medical center is open and accessible to every student which ensures the safety and caring responsibility the university has towards students. Above and beyond academics, there are so many extracurricular activities that you can do. Sports clubs, music societies, religious societies, language clubs, nature and hiking clubs, Rotra clubs, ASEC and much much more. Sports serve both as a leisure activity and a room for competition. 
the University of Marathur is best known for its performances in the Sri Lanka University of Games, becoming champions in various sports categories. So, we welcome you to join this because it's a great opportunity to showcase your talents as well as a welcome change from purely focusing on academics. Life in Mara is wonderful. There is so much for one to experience. The University of Mortua is a birthplace of ideas and a place that truly encourages you to be creative. And that is important to be a good architect. So what is architecture? And how are you going to be an architect? Let us ask what your seniors think about it. Architecture is everywhere, in each and every building. Architecture, Nirvachane Kirima Sapiksha. Architecture also has the power to inspire and delight. It can enhance everyday experiences. Saralavagatita, Parisarikasa, Samaji Sadakyangi, Samodane Vimunata, Navaparisaria, Salasum Kirimi Kriavalia, Architecture. You necessarily do not have to study architecture to experience it. But by studying, you can learn how to create that experience for others. For a it enables to explore the comprehension of complex environmental, contextual, social, cultural, functional, statutory, and technical needs of a given spatial situation requiring design intervention. The school completion of the Bachelor's of Architecture degree is recognized for exemption from the Sri Lankan Institute of Architects, Art to Examination, the Royal Institute of British Architects, and the Commonwealth Association of Architects. Bachelor of Architecture is a five-year full-time degree program. During the first, second, and the third levels, the course will provide space for the exposure and discoveries. Followed by apprenticeship and integration in the third level, which is also known as implant training. Levels 4 and 5 will be mainly focusing on the synthesis and concentration. Like architecture, plan, building economics, and integration design. Architecture is the Faculty of Architecture Research Unit of University of Moratua that promotes a distinctive research culture across all its disciplines. Designing is a fun, enthusiastic and amazing experience one can have in their life. We were all designers as kids where we used to play with toys, build and draw stuff everywhere. And in the practice of being an architect, we also dream of ideas, draw our design, and build models. The design projects play a major role when it comes to our coursework, where we do a design and present it to the panel of jury. Unlike in other courses, one-to-one -one teaching is a unique teaching method in architecture that ensures the students interact with the teacher individually and get individual feedbacks so that each can learn and understand concepts at their own pace and in their own way. Through this method, the learner has the complete attention of the teacher where, where you receive more feedback and a better understanding of the learner's needs while improving the relationships between the lecturers also allows asking questions and improving skills individually. Level 1 design projects will awake your creativity and will make you realize your inner architect. So, let's have a look at the work of our batch where we were able to enhance our knowledge and creativity 
through the projects and other activities that were filled with fun. Understanding basic human scales and proportions, it was expected to design a creative, multifunctional piece of furniture with recycled materials. The project was done as groups and it was a good opportunity to get to know our batchmates. Composition simply refers to putting together shapes and forms with the design elements and are organized to harmonize with the design principles. Creating an aesthetically pleasing space by organizing cubes of different sizes to attribute to the design elements by referring to activity patterns of a user, along with the mental and physical strengths, is displayed through these designs. Within the context of the built environment, the term structure refers to anything that is constructed or built from interrelated parts. Structure's project was one of the most enjoyable projects and the learning outcome consists of knowledge of structural principles, exploring materials and design aesthetics studying different structural systems and getting to know their strengths and failures helped us to understand buildings in a more technical aspect. Learning the unique features of specific architectural style while exploring the Sri Lankan heritage and documenting them through drawings was the main objective of this project. Measuring the buildings and capturing the essence of the building in a drawing helped us in understanding the construction systems, materials, details and even the cultural and social influences that shaped our Sri Lankan architecture. Apart from the projects, the most exciting part of being an architecture student is experiencing architecture through field visits. Our first visit was around Colombo City covering different areas to understand how the architecture and living of Colombo have changed through the flow of time. The inspiration and experience led us to do an exhibition Voyage of Time with the collaboration of our fellow landscape architecture students. The works of architect Jeffrey Barra have been an inspiration to most of the students and professionals, and we got the chance to visit some of his creations. The first one was his home in Colombo, which is maintained by the Barra Heritage Centre in Colombo. Then we had the chance to go to Blue Waters in Wadduwa, where we experienced the contemporary architectural style of Jeffrey Barra. Lirigala Garden is one of his masterpieces and it is considered as the first means and experimental laboratory for new ideas which has been turned into a tropical version of a European Renaissance garden with the essence of the locality.
The COVID-19 pandemic changed our entire system of learning and our university life. We lost our time with friends and lost the chance to experience architecture. And now the same situation is upon you. There must be lots of questions flashing before you. How do I handle the architecture course online? How are the people going to support us? Will I be able to know my friends? When we started virtual learning, we had all these questions too. But the answers we got for these questions were all positive. It hasn't been easy. Every one of us faced many challenges during the pandemic. We are very lucky and extremely proud of our dedicated, innovative and accomplished faculty members who seek to work with the students, guide us through our curriculum and put extra effort and have been successful even though the online education system has been challenging. We conducted online discussions and peer learning sessions. Each of us are of course unique in background. We all have a different set of life perspectives and talents. We took advantage of any opportunity to learn from the knowledge of our batchmates and to work alongside them. This gave us more chances to connect with our friends and we always made sure all our batchmates were aligned with the course flow. We also didn't forget to have fun and make memories virtually. On the 31st of October, we hosted a Halloween party where we dressed up as different characters with a creative twist and a greater meaning behind our choices. In the same way, we also hosted a games night for our entire batch where we played a variety of games and sang songs throughout the night. Each of us from our own homes uniting our batch together once again. To conclude the level 1 work, portfolio was one of the moments which we had the opportunity to get back with our peers and do an exhibition. Portfolio is an examination conducted at the end of each year reflecting your entire year's work. The purpose of the exam is to allow students to demonstrate their readiness to undertake independent dissertation research through a portfolio of their best work to date. Each of us is fighting our own battles, yet we, as a batch, made it through the pandemic and successfully completed our level 1, the very first year of online education. It was not easy, but today, when we turn back and look at the journey, we feel nothing but motivation and positivity. Dear brothers and sisters, Today is the day that you start a journey that will give you amazing experiences, unforgettable memories and take you to places that you have never been. We shared our experience with you so that you can be much better. Whatever the world would look like in the future, somewhere, sometimes, part of it will be you. The future is in your hands to shape. So be passionate and committed to what you are doing, even for the simplest thing you can do. Always remember that you are not alone. And remember that you have the responsibility to build a better world for everyone.